Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can set up a server and client side for OpenCV. Then we can actually like send the images or video streams over the internet. So we're going to set up a client and a server where our client is going to send the images that we get from our webcam to a server. And then we can process our images on the server or the other way around. Okay, so we're not done into Visual Studio Code. We're going to see how we can set up the client and server for OpenCV. So we can actually like stream our images from our webcam. Um, over to the server or the other way around. So this can be used for a lot of different kind of like real life um, computer vision applications and projects. So first of all here, we're just going to take a look at the client. We're going to import the different modules that we need. Then we're going to use socket to actually like send these images over our um, internet. So then we can basically just set up our sockets here in Python. Again, these are just some basic things that we need to set up um, and default parameters for our sockets. And then we just specify the buffer size over here to the right. Then we also need to set up the server IP and also the port uh, port number for our um, internet connection. So again, this is basically just like the local host connection. So we're just going to send images over my local host. Then we can set up a video capture with OpenCV as we're used to. Then we can also set the resolution of our images. So here we're going to set it to 640 by 480. Then we're going to have a while loop as in all of the videos that we have on the channel. We're going to run a while loop as long as our webcam is open. We're going to read in a frame from the webcam, store it in this im variable. Then we're just going to im show our um, image that we read in from our webcam before we're going to pass that over uh, to the server via the sockets. So then we actually just show it we, down here. We can then encode our image. So here we can call cv2.imcode. It will basically just compress our image so we can send it over our socket. Um, here we just specify like the format. So we're going to use the JPEG format, specify the image that we want to decode, and then also the, the imwrite JPEG quality uh, that we're going to use. So these, uh, these are again just default parameters for act like encoding our images. And then on the server side, when we're receiving our images, we need to decode again so we can then visualize um, the received image. So then we have a gen encoded it. We get this buffer here, and then we can use this buffer to send over um, our sockets. We also get a return value here if we're able to act like encode our image. Then we can use pickle to basically just dump our buffer. So again, this buffer here um, will basically just be dumped with pickle. And then pickle here is basically just converting our buffer to a byte stream. And then we can send those bytes over our sockets and the internet. So then we basically just have our X as bytes. So this is our image as bytes. Again, we just have a byte stream from pickle and then we're going to send it over our socket. So we have S dot send to, and then we're going to specify what data do we want to send and then also to where. So this will be to this server IP with this uh, server port address as well. Then we can just have a while loop here or like an if statement checking if we hit Q on our keyboard and then it will terminate out of the while loop and we will destroy our uh, windows that we have opened up and also release our webcam. So this is the client side here. Let's just run the client here and then go over the server so we can see the results. So first of all here, I'm just going to open and open a new terminal. So I'll just go down here to the bottom, open a new terminal. I need to CD into the directory. So I have it inside this code. Um, and then we actually like just need to go inside our uh, live stream. So CD live stream. And now when we're inside this live stream, I'm just going to call LS. Then we can see we both have our client and our server. And then we can basically just run our Python um, OpenCV client. So this is the one that we just went through. We're going to run it and then it should act like just send images over our, our socket here that we have set up. So now we can see that it has basically just opened up this live stream or like this video stream from my webcam. And then we're basically just going to set up the server side, which is going to receive those bytes that we're sending from the client to the server. And then we're going to visualize the results on the server when we have decoded the image again. Again, we can do it the other way around. We could have like the server sending the images to different clients or like a specific client. But in this example, we basically just have a client. We want to do the processing on our machine and then send it to our server. That could also be some other results um, after we processed our images. So let's now set up the server here as well. So we're going imported different modules. We set up this exact same socket, but now we're going to act like read from this socket or receive the data that we're sending over on this socket from the client. We set up the same IP here again. So it's the local host. The port number is the exact same one as in the client. And then we just have this socket.bind. And then we basically just bind our IP and the port address so we can go in and receive the bytes from the client side. So then we're going to have a while loop basically just looking 
all the time, like when we're receiving new data from the client, we just have this S from our socket. So we're going to receive, uh, we're going to receive the bytes from our socket. And th this is this exact same value. So it is the buffer value that we chose inside of our client as well. Then we get the client IP here, which is basically just indexing this data that we receive over the socket. And then the actual like, data is at a zero element of our um, X value here, which is the received data again, from our client. So we actually just have our data here. We can then load our data with Piggle. So again, we just have a byte stream coming in um, from our client. We then need to convert it back so we can actually like use it. Then when we have our data decoded from Piggle, we can go in and decode it with OpenCV after that. So on the client side, we're encoding the data. Then we convert that to byte stream. We receive the data on the server as a byte stream, and then we convert it back again to our data value here. And then we can go in and decode our act like image with OpenCV. Then we're just going to read it in as a color image. We're just going to like decode our data. Then when we have decoded our data, we just have this image back again. So this is basically like the whole process from like sending the image, um, converting it to a bind stream, sending it over to the server, receiving it, uh, decoding it again. And then we can go down and use the image show to just show the image that we have received on the server from the client. Again, we just have an if statement checking if we hit Q. If we do that, we will break out this while loop and terminate the program and destroy all the windows that have opened up with OpenCV. So now we can just go down here. We can see that our client is still running, but let's now create a new terminal. Uh, so we can then run the server and see what we're actually receiving from the client. So I'll just in CD into the correct directory again. We have the live stream, LS, and then we have the client and the server again. We're just going to run Python. Um, and now we have the OMCV, OMCV, and now we're going to run the server. Our client is already running. And now we can see that our server is up running. We can see that the quality is a bit lower, but again, real time here, we can see that it acts like sends these images here rather fast. This is only like 640 by 480. Um, but again, we can have higher image resolution and so on. We'll just need a bigger buffer, but we can see there's no delay from the client to the server. So this acts like uh, really nice and it can be used for a lot of different kind of like applications and projects, especially when you're going to create projects for like real time and real life applications where you want to like process the data on the client or like maybe just get the images from a client, send it to our server for like further processing. So let's say that you don't really have like that much processing power on your client, then you can basically just have your client capturing the images, send that image over to the server for like further processing. And again, we can see that this operates in real time. So then we can maybe just run some, some deep learning, some neural networks, some, some optic detectors over on the image that we're receiving from the client. And then we can process the results on the server here, send it back to the client again. And then we can actually like see that we have this real time communication and it will actually like look like that we are doing the processing real time on the client side. So then we can basically maybe have a Raspberry Pi capturing the images, sending it to our server for processing, getting the results back, visualizing the results on the client side again. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. We're definitely going to create some applications and projects around this where we have the client and the server side. So that's going to be very cool. If you're interested in some computer vision or deep learning tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.